Hello everyone, welcome to Tidystat YouTube channel. And in today's video, I will show you how to combine variables using concatenate or concat function. Well, in NSPSS, you can combine variables using the concat functions. These functions allows you to concatenate or join together the values of two or more variables into a single variable. The basic syntax for using the concat functions is compute new variables equals concat open the bracket variable 1 variable 2 and so forth and close the bracket. In this tutorial, I have prepared data that contains four variables. The first two, these first and last variables, this is the data that contains the string type of the data. And the last two, region and district, the type of the data or the type of the variable is numeric. We will try to concatenate the combinations of the variables so you can understand well how to use the concat function properly even the data type is different. For the first example, we will try to combine the first and last variables to a new variable that contains the first and last name together. To do this, we need to use syntax. Go to File, New, and click Syntax. This is the window that SPSS provides to type the syntax so we can combine and use the concatenate function. Remember, first and last is a string type of variable. So here, we will create a new variable which is the string type of variable and also we will concatenate it using concat function. Let's type string space your new variable name I'll just make it name open the bracket a50 close the bracket and don't forget the dots enter then let's execute the concat function compute space name equals concat open the bracket and then let's type the file let's type the variable that we want to join first comma last close the bracket oh sorry don't forget the dot here after that type x so cute all right let's block these three line and click the apply button at the top run selection let's get back to the data view window and see what happens great your concatenate function works and you already have a new variable that name name which is the joins of first and last variables. Let me explain to you how the syntax works line per line. In the first line, the syntax creates a new variable called name which is capable of holding text up to 50 characters long. At the second row, these compute functions combines the values from existing variables which is first and last variables into name variable at the third line execute tells spss to execute the computation of the syntax the next question is how to add space between the first and last in the variable names you can see the names here are combined without spaces according to the command we type but of course, this is not comfortable to see. Let's get back to the syntax window and add a new syntax to add a space between them. Enter here. Let's type string space new variable called name2. I'll just make it like this. Open the bracket a50. And don't forget the dot. Then let's type compute space name to space equals and then use the concat function here and then open the bracket 
and add our trim function. I'll explain to you later. And then open the bracket first, comma, single punctuation marks with space a uh, between them, and then close the bracket, and then comma again, and then single punctuation mark and add space between them and add comma after that type less and close the bracket and don't forget the dot and then execute okay let's block these three lines and execute this syntax let's get back to the data view window and you see that you have a new variable that contains the first and last name which has a space between them you see june space meet and so on it's great to see like this you see the difference here between the first and the second syntax is that we have our trim function at the second row this function ensures that the first name is trimmed of any trailing spaces before being combined with the last name and also separated by a single space. This is a function of the single quotation mark. I think that's all you need to know about combining the string type of variable in SPSS. And now let's dive in into how to concatenate or to join the numeric type of data in SPSS. In the data view window, we have region and district variables, which are the numeric type of variables and let's try to combine these two into a new variables so the region code and district code will be viewed together go back to the syntax window and let's type the command string id and let's make it up to 20 characters dot compute id equals concat open the bracket r trim open the bracket string open the bracket region comma f12 dot zero let's close the bracket for two times and comma again i'll trim open the bracket string com sorry open the bracket district comma f12 dot zero and close the bracket three times at the dot button and then execute great now block these three lines and run selection get back to the data view window and you see that your id variable has been joined based on the region and district variable you can also see at the variable view this variable up to 20 characters and it has the string type you can also change it to numeric according to your needs let me explain to you what the syntax meaning at the syntax window for our search command the second line of the third command means string region f12 and 0 it means we convert the numeric value of region to a string value with a width of 20 characters and no decimal places our trims mean we remove any trailing spaces from the converted region value and strict district f12.0 it means we convert the numeric value of district to a string with a width of 12 characters and no decimal places and at the all trims it means remove any leading spaces from the converted district value if you think this syntax is too long i'll show you another trick remember concat functions allow us to join string and string variables to create another string variable so it will be easier for us to change our data into string so the function or the syntax will be simple so let's change it into string for region and also district okay and let's type our new syntax here in the syntax window let's start the command string 
and give the variable name id2 open the bracket a and make it up to 20 characters don't forget the dots then compute id2 equals concat open the bracket r trim open the bracket region close the bracket comma l trim open the bracket district close the bracket for two times and add the dot and then execute this command and select these three lines and click run selection let's get back to the data view window and congratulations you have successfully combined these variables using the concat function or concatenate function if you want to follow my tutorial based on this data you can download the files at the description field that's it see you in another video